If I were to ask you what do you think the world be like in for example 2050? What comes to mind for most is visions of flying cars. Now if I were to ask the same question to someone of the late 20th century about what they thought of what the 2020s would be like they would be disappointed to find no flying cars or hoverboards. The trope of the flying car can go back to the 1960s cartoon The Jetsons. It was later seen in films such as Blade Runner and Back to the Future. That car not only can fly but has the magical ability to travel through time. As we all know this is science fiction. Other fictional works such as Aliens or Star Trek have humans colonizing Mars and or even deep space. How was your vacation on Mars? Oh, wait we have not even had a person on the planet yet we are talking about trips to Mars. Some conspiracy theorists claim we already have a base on Mars. Others will go as far as to say up-and-coming tech was as they like to say reverse-engineered from alien tech. Now does this sound like something from a sci-fi movie? These great advances in technology we have learned from the aliens is be kept from the people is what some claim. These people are often referred as ancient alien theorists. They even have their own TV show of the same name. Another claim is that of so-called free energy. They claim that Nikola Tesla invented so-called free energy. But these are just fairy tales. The most recent claim of up-and-coming tech is autonomous cars. What comes to mind is Tesla and Elon Musk. When it comes to advances in technology people often cite the computer and more specifically microchips. Moore's Law states computing power will double about every two years. A computer of today has a million times the processing power as one in the 1970s. In the 70s we have things such solar panels are they a million times more efficient today? No they are not. In fact solar panels are only 50% more efficient than of ones of the 70s. The same could go for fuel efficiency for cars. The most fuel efficient cars are about 50% more efficient than that of cars of 1970s. Speaking of cars, dude where's my flying car? It's been some 60 years since the Jetsons and yet we still don't have flying cars. A more real world example would be nuclear fusion. They also claims it's a few decades away. The answer is limits. The real world has limits. No matter what someone's imagination may come up with. Where we are going we still need highways and bridges and farming. 